that's right. fine. Let's get going then. So I didn't know what we do about a flag. So I brought my flag over. <laughs> so, oh, so a lot of the flag. Anybody nice. want to start the flag? <laughs> <laughs> Start waving it. Make pretend like there's wind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, who would like to start the pledge then? <laughs> oh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, 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 States of America and to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Until I'm too close to the camera. <laughs> okay, so we don't have any guests today that I'm aware of. Um, and we're continuing our organizational meeting. Was there anything else that we needed to go through from that meeting? Um, <clears throat> well, if we wanted to do it now, there was um, the planning board made an update to their remote attendance policy and right. Chris Nadler to help them get all the wording straight. And that's um, at the end of our agenda. So if you want to check that, um, but basically sure. it allows you to attend the meeting remotely and you don't need an executive order or a specific reason. Mm -hmm. So it just facilitates you um, being able to attend remotely. Do you need me to read that? It's exhibit B in our agenda. I can read it if you would like. It, it's up to you. I, I identified the places where it, it changed. So yeah. I highlighted them red and struck them out. So um, well, I thought Did everybody we, get a chance we, to we review would that. Yeah. want that. So yeah. So now overall, we're, we're kind of, in, well, we're encouraged to come to the town for the meeting unless otherwise suggested, right? Yeah. Like today. Yes. Yes, I, yeah. I, I would say you also need to give a, a heads up. I'm not sure how many days it is on this one. Uh, a couple days ahead of time, if you will be attending remotely. <laughs> And I think you have to also indicate the location from which you're attending the meeting. So, yep. Okay. Are there any questions about this other than that? <clears throat> Not for me. Seems quite reasonable. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's a nice, uh, nice option for me. I'm on call uh, for the VA most Thursdays. So occasionally I will get a call and have to excuse myself to log into that system. Uh, doesn't happen very often. I, you know, I will try to uh, get into the uh, in-person meetings uh, as much as I can now, certainly. But it's nice to have that option yeah. to, to remotely connect. Do you folks get a lot of visitors at the ECB meetings in general at the town hall or not really? No, not really. Okay. Mm, occasionally, it depends on the, How the controversial. project, right? Instructions <laughs> going on and whatever. Yeah. Not, it's not, uh, not usual. Most of the visitors zoom in. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Well, does anybody want to make a motion to approve that remote attendance policy? I'll make I motion. Would. I'll second. Great. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Great. Any opposed? Okay, great. So that is approved then. <laughs> Um, and we can do the same thing with the minutes if everybody got a chance to review the minutes at all. Any changes or questions on the minutes? What good Move approval. 
we're on E, the approval of the minutes from January 6th. Were you moving, Gary? I, I was, yeah. I'll second. <laughs> okay. Everyone, uh, please indicate saying aye if you approve the minutes. Aye. aye. Any, any opposed? Okay, minutes are approved. Privilege of the floor. We're all members here. I don't think we have any guests. So I think you can all speak anytime you want. <laughs> Actually, we do have a guest in. Oh, we do. Oh, good. Oh. I can see that. Oh, Anybody, nice. Would you like to speak at all or? Megan, we can't oh, hear you. Oh. oh, there it is. Now we can hear you. Yep. Okay. It took us, it was delayed there for a sec. Uh, I'm, I'm Megan Miller. Um, I talked to Shauna actually a couple weeks ago uh, to actually see if I could join you guys um, as a board member possibly in the future. Um, I think I'm further down on your minutes and everything like that. Um, so I am observing here right now. Sorry I got on a little late. Uh, Zoom is always a fun thing to deal with. <laughs> That's true. Okay, well, thank you. Welcome, Megan. Nice to see you here. So. And I see Eric is on there too now. Hi, Eric. Oh, Hi. <laughs> okay, so no other comments during privilege of the floor. Uh, the development office report is what's next. Sean is not here, so if we wanna skip that. Yeah, we could probably skip over that. Um, and I believe we have no referrals at this time from the town board either, correct? Correct. Don't think so. Okay. Any referrals from CIC or the Ordinance Committee? Not that I know of. Not at this time. Mm -hmm. um, and from the PRC, um, I don't think there was anything that we had to review, correct? Correct. I don't think there was anything. Okay. Okay, so that we're on to the old business then. Um, the town newsletter. Um, did we have something in there for this month for February, Pat? Yes, Gary put in a very wonderful article about maple syruping. Yeah, oh, great. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I am trying to think of what March will bring. I'm happy to write the article, but I need a bang up idea. Anyone well, have any I, ideas? Yes, yes. And if you'd like, I could write it up to, to or cooperate with you on it, Pat. Well, what okay. I would like to do for March is to do an article about um, the different recommended trees for, um, you know, native trees for planting in the spring and, and uh, what what would be good choices and what to consider when you're thinking about uh, tree choices. Oh, that sounds good. Yes, one, two, three, yes. <laughs> one, oh, two, that's three. really good. That's adorable. <laughs> you are just so clever, Edith. <laughs> now, I have, I'm kind of a new member, as you guys know here, um, but that was one of our strategies from last year was creating a list of appropriate native species. Um, do we need to discuss that as a committee at all? Or I know, Edith, you're extremely knowledgeable in that area as well. <laughs> So, um, I think well, we were looking um, at doing a handout, right? And I think we were, yes. And mm -hmm. I think uh, I was trying to get the tree committee to uh, commit to creating this for us. And they are in kind of a hiatus point. So what I think I will do is put one together and circulate it with them, which they can all object to <laughs> and no. add to. No. And that will spur some action if that seems okay. good. <laughs> Do we want to have a backup for March in case this creates a giant hullabaloo? Oh no, I, I think that even a partial one would be fine. Yeah. You know, okay. There are always the go-tos that you can put in. Uh, yeah. You know. Just to get people thinking. And just to, because that will be getting into tree planting time. So, right. you know, good choices and the things to look at, you know. 
your, your driveway access, where the power lines are, where the septic system might be. Yeah. <laughs> so, how big is this thing going to be after it's full grown? So on and so on. You yeah. know? <laughs> so all of those things, you know, it, it can't run to book length anyway. So <laughs> we'll try well, to Well, if it does, control. we'll just have to have April be part two. <laughs> part two. <laughs> How would you plant a tree? Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. tree one, two, three, and then four. <laughs> yeah. <There you> go. <laughs> Edith, if you need any photos, let me know. I have a lot. Okay, good. Uh, you know, if some of you have photographs of some of the remarkable trees on town property, such as some of the ones that I've taken of trees in cemeteries and things, the really enormous ones. That would mm -hmm. make a lovely bulletin board sometime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, we've been talking about, about that. that for a while also. We have, to, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have. To, to uh, signify yeah. the very beautiful, important, large trees around. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there, there are some, and some of them are on town property like the that enormous thing at uh, Onanda Park and, and some of the cemeteries and so on. Yeah. And it would be nice to have people nominate their own remarkable trees for a, some sort of uh, self-guided tour. Tree you tour, know? yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah, anyway. there is one in our neighborhood that's uh, Doc Marion saw that's it's on our HOA trails and it is he said it's about 350 years old. So yeah, wow. well, see, that would be a perfect thing for for something like this. It'd be yeah. really good. Maybe we could run some sort of a, like through our newsletter, like even a little contest. Uh, I don't know, make up a first, second, and third place certificate or something. I know yeah. we can't do anything monetary, but just to signify the interest of a particular, you know, maybe post them and let people vote on them or something. Yep. That or might be fun. Measure the circumference or something like that. See who's got something the biggest like circumference we can find. <laughs> yeah. that, that would be a great social media thing. Yeah, yeah get maybe some we can figure nice out traffic. a way to do that. Yeah. yeah. Top of this tree. Yeah. Pardon? I said top of this tree could be oh, a cute top name. This tree. Or please don't <laughs> top this tree. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what the utility guys say, right? Um, you could just say tree toppers or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's some really grotesque examples, aren't there? It's so sad when they just cut right around the tree so that the power, because the power lines have to go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at least yeah. the tree survives. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. It'd be a lot better if the tree was planted someplace a few feet away. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, one of the things that, uh, uh, that certainly I'll cover in that. Yeah. That would be, I think that's a great idea for the next article. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Okay. Any thoughts for the month after that, or do we want to plan that at the next ECB meeting? I could do spring ephemerals, the wildflowers. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be great. Nice. Yes. That would be great, Kim. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And sometimes we, okay. need, we ought to do a, an article about ephemeral pools because that is the main breeding ground for frogs and amphibians, uh, other, um, you know, salamanders and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and they are full of life. They're not just a, a wet spot, but <laughs> no. It's, anyway, a, it's, it's a DEC uh, webinar on vernal pools coming yes. up uh, soon. Look, looks interesting. Yes, take a look at it. I, I think uh, Miller Park would be a fantastic place to put one in. I think it would. Oh, be, yeah. I have been uh, talking to people about that for a while, too. Uh, 
Kimberly, maybe can you share the, our minutes from this meeting with the Parks Committee? Um, because we've had a couple things now that like trees and pictures of trees in the parks and talking about the the vernal pool at Park at Miller Park. Those are it'd be nice to pass on to them. Sure. Um, or I can share them to Lindsay. She could pass them along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a puppy barking in the background. <laughs> okay, the town hall display case. Is that still you, Edith, as well? Yeah, or? that put up yeah. uh, looks great. <laughs> looks Horrible. great. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of fun. Um, actually, I have practically everything I need for doing a spring wildflowers, something like that. I like for people to know what they're looking at. I think they appreciate it more if they know the names. If they see yeah. something, then they will, you know. So anyway. You know, you I could will, also put a I'll link on that. that. So, sorry to that. What's that app that we, that was in the news the newsletter a couple of months ago? Then iNaturalist. I, I could put a, a QR code or a link to that in there maybe too. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you need help with that from anybody, Edith? Or you got it? And uh, it's <clears throat> it's fine. I can, if I do, I will rattle someone's cage and <laughs> plead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. So we're moving on then to new business, and we've got the ECB member application from our guest Megan Miller. That was. Mm -hmm. uh, attached my beautiful resume you can yeah. pour yes, over it as you will nice. yes. oh. mm -hmm. Megan I think you work with my son I do <laughs> Eric's an awesome young man he does a lot of hard work thanks yeah uh, anybody have any questions for Megan. What made you want to be on the ECB, Megan? Um, so I really surprised Shauna when I told her I read about the opening in the newspaper. Uh, she was very surprised that I'd seen a newspaper, <laughs> first of all. Um, but uh, I've just been looking at ways to get involved with the Canandaigua community in general. And I just did recently graduate with a uh, bachelor's of science in environmental science. So nice. Uh, haven't been able to really break into the field in a very truthful way. And uh, at least around here, uh, I have some internships under my belt, but uh, I just wanted to see what you guys were doing. And I thought it'd be a great way to help out around here as well as to make some connections and get to know what's happening over here. Was there an area of research you specialized in at all or? Um, I didn't particularly. I was just drawn to the major mostly because I love problem solving. And honestly, environmental problems are probably the most tangled web you're ever going to run into. <laughs> um, I loved working with people in different groups and sort of talking over all the different ways that you can go about solving one single problem and all the problems attached to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I did some work also with some of the social sciences involved with uh, environmental issues and everything. Um, I've written some papers. Um, I've not been truly published, but I work with some professors who published in the past. So, <laughs> I think that you have really excellent qualifications and I'm glad you're interested in the group that yeah you bring yeah. it <clears throat> well you guys have already been having such fun yeah. conversations in like the <laughs> 10 minutes that I've heard you guys talk so this sounds like an awesome time <laughs> it's more fun when we're actually studying a project and making comments yeah. then you can really get into a oh, little nitty-gritty right. of you know what's happening in town mm-hmm Yes, it's yeah. kind of unusual for us to not have any development uh, plans to be looking at or, you yeah. know, house plans. Well, spring is coming, so projects it will, will also. Oh, yes, yes, it will be six or eight mm -hmm. in a row, yes. 
but this is kind of an anomaly this month. Yeah, Shauna was telling me that you guys like are given things sort of by the town and then you go out to these sites and sort of see what's happening. Um, I don't 100% know what that entails, but it sounds like you go over what issues could pop up with these different projects and how you can protect like the watershed and the general area or species or whatever could be harmed or benefited, I guess, in whatever situation. Mm -hmm. Right. But anyway, I'm excited. Well, good. Good. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so do we want to move on to the uh, ECB referral review checklist then? I think we were trying to come up with a checklist because uh, yeah. I, I yes. know I didn't get any passed to me, so I did no, not. I do on. not have a copy of one. Yeah. So Justin if anybody was going to try idea. to put something together, I think yeah. Justin was going to try to put something together because he said that between he and Sarah Linda, they just sort of used information from various references like the NRI report or. Yeah, that's the only because there is a, an NRI checklist. Is the there is an NRI mentioned. checklist. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And maybe yeah. extrapolate from that. Uh, for us to use. I think it was pretty much um, that was the template, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. That might have that might that might be in. Would Barb have sent that to us, or is it within the NRI document? I think it's in the. It should be in the document. It, it is, yeah. It is, okay. So maybe Justin will kind of look at that and uh, so, so he kind of volunteered, I guess, to put something together. Yeah, it looked like he, he um, sent us some sort of an email indicating that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, as I said, I'm pretty new on the committee, but it did indicate in last year's report that there are, were checklists already created somewhere. So yes. somebody must have done something. <laughs> yes. Sarah Linda had one and it was mostly compatible with the NRI one. And I think they were kind of um, melding the two. There was not much hmm. that wasn't uh, in both. Okay. So maybe Kimberly, do you want either you or I can reach out to Sarah Linda and see if we can see what she's got? Yeah, um, so I, we can I can reach out there. to Sarah Linda. Okay. If you don't mind, that would be great. Yep. Okay. So not too much more we can do on the checklist without working off a document in front of us right now, if, mm -hmm. if I'm reading the room right here. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, um, we already did the remote attendance policy um, from the end there. Um, do we have, so we're moving on to the member reports then. Um, is there anybody who was, well, I went to the CIC meeting. Um, I don't know if anybody else wants to discuss it at all, um, but. I'm on CIC, but unfortunately was not able. Was Adeline, was it mostly uh, discussing the schedule for the year? Was it uh, to it then there? Well, no, this CIC was going over the LDC gave a report um, basically on oh, what the okay. LDC is doing. And mm -hmm. they talked about some wayfinding signs uh, that they're trying to put in, more mm -hmm. information about what's going on up in the MUO, uh, the uptown corridor there. Uh, and uh, it was a good meeting, but if you if you didn't want to see the whole LDC and the whole CIC, you might want to review the CIC meeting online. Um, okay. Um, there was a little bit of information in there too, but no, they didn't they didn't get into any more nitty gritty of of planning. That okay. You know, I can look back here and see if there's anything else that was worth bringing up. Um, they're reviewing the Uptown Active Transportation Plans. Um, they are 
Oh, they talked a bit about the new uptown bid, which I don't know if you folks are familiar with that, but the town board approved a bid, a business improvement district for the uptown area. So any sort of improvements with trees and flowers and plantings and things like that can now kind of feed through the uptown bid. Um, hmm. So that might be an area where um, we might make some suggestions as well. Um, and they were also talking about maybe potential future improvements to Blue Heron could also go through that uptown bid as well. Mm -hmm. and that would be nice to have yeah. some funding sources for things there. Yeah. Oh, excuse me for just a second. Hang on. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Perks of being at home right now. It's just life happens around you regardless of what's happening on the yes. computer. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm surprised my dogs or anything haven't been barking. <laughs> Sometimes my cat lands right in front of me, so that that might happen too. <laughs> Sorry, when you got a pie, you got a pie. <laughs> um, so yeah, any other questions on the CIC or anything going on that I, at least that I saw? Mm -mm. Okay, so local history. I don't know. Is anyone here on that committee? I, I know. Oh, is that Eric somewhere? Yes, it's Eric. <laughs> Hi. Um, you know, I wasn't able to make it this morning's meeting. I tried to get in, but at 9 to 9 15 and 9 30, it said the meeting hadn't started yet. Maybe the issue was on my end, but I was meant. Um, I, I have been going, um, I've had been in contact with Sarah Linda. She's very excited about um, new Onanda Park maps. Apparently there's two different groups that are working those up. One is the engineering firm, which the town contracts with, and the other is being worked on through Ontario Historical Society and a woman named Sharon. So we're gonna have two, two versions, not competing versions, but we're gonna try to take them and and somehow merge them together when they're able to be uh, shown, shown to us. So we're hoping to have a, a kind of a map rollout party in about three, four weeks, um, and then take the final version of that map and put it on the kiosk, the new kiosk plan for Ananda Park. Cool. Damn. Yeah. Megan, have you, have you been up to Ananda Park? I have been to Onana Park. I've done like the polar plunge when I was in high school and Ooh. gone to, uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone, I don't recommend doing that a lot if you're, just donate the money to it. Don't, don't actually go into the lake this time of year. It's not worth it, but um, I have gone also when it's warmer and everything. Our dogs love walking there and everything. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Um, yeah. The Upland Trail, especially, I'm kind of grown very attached to, as, as Edith knows full well. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, learning, I'm trying to learn. I've made a lot of progress learning the, the plants, the trees, and the Upland Trail. I'm, I'm not a, I don't have a, my degree is in history and political science. So, so I'm kind of an advanced beginner at this stage, but um, I'm knowing enough to appreciate it more. So yeah, any, any knowledge you can, you can pass on from your, your academic work would be more than appreciated. Not quite a horticulturist here, but I can give my two cents if at all possible, <laughs> I promise. That's <laughs> good. You know, year, years ago, Marty, I think Marty Dodge and some others put together oh, right. kind of a, a brochure for Nando Trails with a kind of an interpretive trail with, uh, and, I, and I think there's still markers around and then you carried this brochure with you and, and read about it the different sites. Is there plans to have QR codes or something at, at different points along the trail that people can access? That, I can tell you from being a former Parks Committee member, yes, they are trying to do some QR codes down there. Um, and I, when I was on the Parks Committee, I was always advocating for uh, just getting the the actual trail maps posted digitally. I mean, I don't know what how, what we need to do to get them into Google Maps and things like that. But I mean, mm -hmm. you can find trails pretty easily for other locations and not so much uh, in the town of Candago. I know the uh, Google Map ownership 
of Onanda Park was not the towns for a while. And I know that delayed the process, uh, but okay. they are definitely working on a lot of more modern methods for, for navigating the trails down there. Yeah, great. Well, we're looking at eventually uh, an updated kind of digital map, much like that early, um, earlier Marty Dodge version, which I have. Um, it's, it's a fun map. It's not for scale. It's very informal. But we're, we're looking for a way that that say families can get involved in making that right. It's a short one, great for kids, in which uh, can be much more interactive and help local residents, families ID different species, uh, what's native, what's invasive. Good. Well, and I think another thing that was delaying the process is some of the existing trails are actually not fully on town properties. <laughs> so, right. so they might be adjusting them a little bit yes. uh, before they map them. So wander toward the secondary ravine. I, yeah, I've gotten well in there before I saw the, the keep out signs. <laughs> I'm listening for gunshots. <laughs> We're blessed with some really nice neighbors around Ananda at this point. So, um, uh, anything further from the local history? Do, is there anyone here from the tree board that wanted to make? Now that we've already been oh, talking we about have, trees, <laughs> uh, we were we were um, thinking of having a, an, a Zoom meeting. I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know if Dennis is probably in Florida right now. So if he gets in touch, I would we would have something to report next time. Um, I, the only thing I want to say about the tree committee is that we are concerned about the invasive species in Onanda. The main ones being buckthorn, moldaflora rose, and Asian um, bittersweet. And we were informally discussing ways to enlist people to help get rid of that. It would have to be cut and it, the um, application of pesticide, you know, glyphosate, something to kill the roots would be necessary. So that would probably not be something that you would ask uh, kids to do you know even though they could there are groups of high school kids etc who would be fully capable of, of handling loppers and doing that but um, at this point it's just mere discussion there the other invasive species that we have been concerned about are the ailanthus trees that are in the cemeteries that belong to the town and they are the host species for spotted lanternfly. And in some places, such as Sand Hill Cemetery, there are many, 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 many of them. <laughs> and they will also have to have um, stump killer root poison, you know, because they will sprout like mad once you cut the tree down. And they are going to be something the highway department will have to do because they are big trees. And there are other trees in other small cemeteries that belong to the town that have been identified as needing to be taken down. But obviously that's got to be during the summer. And um, some of them are <laughs> have been sporting the orange band around them for a couple of years now. So when they can get to them, they will be needing to come down there. Some of them are in the power line areas. And if they blow over, it's going to take down power lines. But um, right now it's just, and we are uh, trying to come up with a list of recommended tree species for developers. For not having meetings, I talk an awful lot, don't I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Edith, I ask a question, Edith? Yes. <laughs> um, I know the uh, gypsy moss are being a real big issue right now. Are you guys yeah. still dealing with a lot of that stuff or other things? Well, more it, has, it has appeared that probably the last summer was wet enough that the fungus that controls the gypsy moths, uh, 
uh, the larvae is probably going to be taking out enough of them that we won't be needing to spray or anything again. Um, it is hard to tell. The climate is quite uncertain <laughs> right now. Yes, it is. So it's very hard to predict how this is going. In general, it is um, wet summers that keep the gypsy moth populations down, which we had a couple of dry summers in a row and they really sprung. So wait and see, I guess, is all I know about that. Yeah, it definitely seems to be fewer fewer egg masses uh, hanging from mm -hmm. the trees. Oh yeah, a good good sign. Mm -hmm. Yes, Edith, um, the tree board or tree committee might want to check out "I Love My Park Day." It's the first Saturday in May, and okay. you can get the public to come in and do work on projects. And uh, if you you can connect up to it with Parks and Trails New York. Can okay. you register your event? Okay. Who is the, the Parks Committee Chair? I should know that, but I can't call the it's name. It's Mark of mine. McNeil. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I have. I will maybe get in touch it. with him and see what we might. Uh, might but I, I need to do then. Yeah, I know. When I was at Sonnenberg, it was usually a pretty good event for us. So mm -hmm. you you register your event and they help you advertise you do some advertising as well but um they'll give you t-shirts and all sorts of stuff so it's kind of a nice thing for the public to take part sure. in. and i know in the past we've um the parks committee often did something in onanda park or excuse me in outhouse park um for yeah. i love my park day and usually including the rotary club and maybe the kiwanis club as well mm -hmm. where they would be well, and planning and, and, yeah. planning. Mm -hmm. well, I will get in touch with Dennis and uh, since he is the chair and see what we if I can get in touch with him. He's not enjoying Florida too much. To, <laughs> we'll see. Well, he just had his birthday, so I'll give him a day yes. or two. OK, thank that. you. <laughs> thank you. I will take note and see what we might be able to, to do. Okay, so the 2022 strategic goals, the ECB related goals, um, are permanently protecting lands with natural resource significance and supporting recreation on those protected lands, promoting housing and development growth within identified growth nodes, and discouraging development in environmentally sensitive areas. Um, and we should revise ordinances as needed to achieve this goal, is what. Um, in there for the 2022 strategic goals. Those were uh, worked on and voted. Um, there are uh, four or five, Kimberly, I forget. Oh, there's, <laughs> strategic there's five. Goals. Yes, and they were voted on back last fall in, we had a giant strategic planning session involving lots of committee members from all the different committees uh, that came together and had a really useful workshop for a couple hours down at Onanda Park um, and came up with those goals. Um, and it's something I know as a town board member, I take very much to heart and I think my other town board members do as well. So did we want to discuss anything regarding those goals or anything that we can do to further those goals? Okay. Anybody got a magic um, wand? Yeah. Yeah. No. Anybody got $20 million? You know, <laughs> yeah. that's true. Pretty much do it with both of those things. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just buy up everything, turn it into a park. You know? uh, uh, <laughs> um, and then there's the future training opportunities on, on here. Did anybody read about these uh, MRB and, and I'm, Hancock Esterbrook are offering some annual training programs. Um, there's a bunch of them listed down there. Um, one of them has already happened, uh, but they're basically doing one every month. Um, obviously one that looks very useful if anybody can attend it is the February 24th one, which is planning for success, the environmental conservation board role in community development. Um, and then the uh, one in May as well, which is keeping the grass 
green and the water clean, your role and seeker review process. So mm -hmm. those are a couple that might be of particular interest to the ECB. If you can make them. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I can we can do a couple of those. I'll see what I can do. I, you know, I never know apparently when town board meetings will happen since I had one on Monday. Now I have one after this meeting tonight and then I have one again <laughs> next Monday, <laughs> which reminds me, by the way, I have a hard stop for this meeting. We have to be done uh, by about five minutes to six um, because uh, we need to be on the, uh, there's a town board meeting, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we've made it through the agenda. I, I think, think we have <laughs> pretty much made it through this part of the agenda. Um, anybody ha else have any other questions on the, the general code uh, coming up there or the local government trainings, the other training opportunities that are on here? Anybody wanna have any comments on any of that? I just took one from... Uh, uh, Finger Lakes Prism, and it was uh, for the IMAP invasives. It was doing a survey for um, uh, Willie Adelgid, and mm -hmm. it was a good, good thing. It also teaches you about the IMAP invasive app, so I would suggest mm -hmm. checking that out if anybody, anybody can. Yes, I've done that one a couple of times. It's it's yep. very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I had, uh, I was on a college tour. I think I told you guys this before, but I was on a college tour at Lafayette College in Eaton, Pennsylvania. And my daughter saw this beautiful, beautiful butterfly looking thing. And, and she's like, look at that, mom. That's really neat. I'm like, ah, that's one of those spotted lantern flies. And I'm stepping on it. I, I did feel really terrible because it was, they are very attractive. And it's the first time I'd seen one, but, but I'm like, I'm glad well, you on. recognized it, Adeline. I did, yeah. I did. Well, it's very striking. It's, it's oh yes, not, yeah. You know, They're unmistakable. Very yeah. unusual. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they are on their way. You did a good uh, deed. <laughs> yes, you did. You I know. I felt bad it. killing something. I'm like, this is. <laughs> No, no, you prevented it laying about a half a million eggs. So <laughs> call killing it something else. For that that seminar, I didn't make the live, but I caught the recorded version of it, and it was very helpful. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Anything else anybody wants to go over? Is everybody good for the March 3rd meeting um, at 4.30? I think so. Okay. Very good. Hopefully we won't get another snowstorm for that one and we can no all see in person yes. for that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. Well, thanks. And Kimberly, thank you so much for for uh, really doing the hard work here <laughs> while yes. just chattering yes. away. <laughs> and to Edith and everybody doing the yes. chat and everyone doing all the great work for the newsletters and the bulletin boards and everything else. I really appreciate it. So, so looking forward to next month when we can see what <laughs> projects are up the, coming down the pike here. So. And great there. to meet you, Megan. Yeah, it's nice so meeting. lovely to meet you guys. Oh, yes, I, I'm nice. really excited nice to meet to, you. Uh, Get to shake your hands in person and talk about what more I can do. Wonderful. If you guys okay. want to talk to me about anything you want me to do in the meantime or anything, you hit me up and I would love to. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Megan. And those are dangerous <laughs> words, child. <laughs> I, I'm sure they are, but I would love to be of any assistance. So okay. thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, if we're if anybody wants to move to adjourn, then it's uh, five six. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> and do we have a second for that? <laughs> I'll second. Okay, great. All in favor of adjourning? Okay. Aye. Aye. Wonderful. Well, then we are adjourned. It's never difficult to get people to move to adjourn. So. Nope. <laughs> We're on the list. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. With your next meeting. Bye. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. See you then. Yeah. Thank Have you. Have a good day now. Take care. You too, Megan. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.